There's some big changes coming to Social Security in 2024, and you need to know about them. And here's why. Social Security is one of the biggest income sources for not just a lot of my clients, for people all over the country. So in today's video, you're going to see exactly how you can make sure you're on top of all the latest Social Security information. My name is Ari Taubleib. I'm a certified financial planner, vice president here at Root, as well as the host of the Early Retirement Podcast. Let's hop right in. There's a COLA increase. What on earth does that mean? COLA stands for Cost of Living Adjustment, and it's being increased. Social Security has had a lot of changes recently, and what you need to know about for next year, specifically 2024, is the cost of living adjustment is 3.2%. That is effective as early as January of 2024. So most people have Social Security and all the strategies around Social Security, whether it be collecting at 67 or 66 in 10 months or whatever your full retirement age is or delaying until 70, this has to be factored into your plans. You can collect Social Security as early as age 62 and delay until age 70, but make sure that you know Social Security is a decision you should make with your partner. It's not one that you are just going to make for yourself because survivor benefits have to be compared when you're doing your analysis. I harp on that for my clients because some people, they just want to turn on that income as early as possible because they saw their parents turn on income and they want to do the same thing. There's nothing wrong with turning it on. I want you to turn it on, but I don't want you to be in your 80s and 90s going, hey, why'd I leave maybe tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table because I just wasn't effective with my social security strategy. So make sure to dial that in. The second big change is there's an increased maximum earnings that is subject to social security taxes. What on earth does that mean? Well, previously to 2024, it was 160,000 right around there. 160,000 was the most that you could get taxed up to for social security. That is now changing. So the maximum amount that is now subject to social security payroll taxes is 167,200. Why is that important? Like what's the big deal here? What this means is if you make more money, you are going to be paying more social security taxes. That's a big change because as you're making more income, but you might not be getting a cost of living adjustment raise, you might be going, wait a second, I didn't get a raise at my job, but I already make 200,000 bucks. Why am I being taxed more? Well, you're going to see less in your take home pay because of this change. Not giving you this to scare you. This is just real life here. That's the second big update with Social Security in 2024. So a quick fun fact before we go to point number three here is that $100 in 2013 would now only have the purchasing power of $131. So when people talk about inflation, they'll often say it's 2% or 3%, 4% historically. Now recently it's been much higher than that, which is another reason for that point number one, where Social Security is changing your cost of living adjustment by 3.2% starting in January of 2024. I'm telling you this because too many people, in my opinion, will talk about inflation, but not actually understand the impact it means. So it's always helpful to go back, okay, what, what's the big deal here? Well, the big deal is a hundred bucks less than pretty much exactly 10 years ago, as I was looking at this study, hundred dollars worth $131 if we're just looking at inflation. So this is why social security is making the change, but bigger than that, Hopefully, I need to make sure your investments outside of Social Security, because I tell all my clients, do not solely rely on Social Security to create your income for the rest of your retirement. Make sure that your investments are growing by much greater than that inflation. Okay, sorry, one more quick fun fact, and we're gonna point number three. But Mass Mutual did a study, and I just laughed when I read it, because they asked everyone, all these participants, they said, hey, when do you think full retirement age is for people that wanna collect Social Security? And most of the answers were, regardless of when you collect, 65 is your full retirement age. And I went, wait a second. I was going, it doesn't matter what age you were born, that doesn't change your full retirement age. And people said, no, it doesn't change it. Full retirement age is 65. And so it's just traditional that a lot of people go, wait a second, I'm retiring at 65 because that's their traditional retirement, which I don't subscribe to, as you know. Now, if you're in a position to retire comfortably and you wanna wait from 63 until 65 to retire, I'm okay with that. But I just wanna make sure your plan doesn't mean you're just continuing to work solely for financial reasons. Many people that come to me, they're in a great position to retire earlier. They just don't know it. Okay. So that's a quick fun fact. So the third big change is that full retirement age is going to be pushed back by two months starting in 2024. What does that mean? So if you were born in 1958 and you said, I'm going to collect social security in 2024, your full retirement age would be 66 years and eight months. That's two months older than if you were born in 1957 a year earlier. I'm going to include this chart right here so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Social security, as well as all aspects of retirement planning can quickly become overwhelming. So let me know in the comments if you want another video just like this 
for spousal benefits, for survivor benefits, for how to make sure that you can maximize your social security benefits. Let me know what would be helpful and I wanna make that video for you. Once again, I love doing what I do, which is helping people retire early. If that's what you're looking to do and connect the dots of social security and tax and investments and income so you can make the most out of what you've worked so hard for, go ahead into the description of today's video and apply to work with our team. I'll see you at the next video. Love you guys.